Hello everybody, my name is Dorm here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last episode, we met Morden Solus, the Salarian scientist, who is also a former member of the Salarian Special Tasks Group, the STG. So he can, you know, fight himself as well. And so we helped him distribute the cure that he developed for the plague that was affecting Omega. Uh, killed a whole bunch of uh, Vorcha in the process. And uh, got that taken care of, so he is now recruited and a member of the team. So, we now need to move on to other things. Now, one of the other things that I went ahead and did is did a lot of scanning. So, um, I, we now have a sizable pool of resources which to use for upgrades, which is good. And, uh, yeah, we need to head back to Omega and, I guess, go look for Archangel, I think, is what we're going to do next. But, first things first, I want to go ahead and have a chat with Joker. Because he's usually got things to say after you complete every story mission. Commander. Or not. How are things here? I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. Uh, it's got a mute. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, that doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. Okay, um... I guess we'll ask about the squad. Usually that yields stuff. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Okay. Uh, we'll ask about the mission. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Yeah, he, he basically lets you know if you've upgraded the Normandy enough to be able to uh, successfully complete the mission. Um, it's uh, Kelly Chambers who uh, tells you about the crew. Um... I guess we'll ask about the good old days. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What about the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. All right. Well, I think we're done here. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Now, I did decide to change up my armor as well. Because, you know, the, dragon, the blood dragon armor is cool and all, but... Um, you just not having the helmet come off in appropriate situations is is a bit of a bummer. So I went with a an armor set that has an open an open face. So you know you'll see that when we move on. I think we have some private messages on red messages. Healing of your facial scars, right from uh, Chakwas. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassion actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to... Uh, to your research terminal in the tech lab. All right. And I think I am going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Because I don't really care for the, the whole, you know, you know uh, 
renegade, scarred up look. Um, some may like it. I don't particularly care for it. Alright, so it's not here. The ML-77 missile launcher. Um... You know what, I'll go ahead and research that. So that it's an option. Ship enhancements. There you go, med bay upgrade. Okay, anything else in here? Armor upgrades? No. Weapon upgrades? No. Okay. So that means that we can actually go to the med bay and take care of that. There we go. All right, so let's head back to Omega and uh, find the Blue Sun's recruitment post for the mission for Archangel. We don't need to see that. All right, well, we got Morden, so let's go ahead and bring him along, and let's actually bring uh, Zaid along. The two new members of the team. Um, I'm holding out to get Biotic Mastery 4. For that and I guess we'll go ahead and swap out the grenade launcher for oh, black storm singularity projector elevating as like the black storm colloquially called the black hole gun in cases particles of matter in a high powered mass increasing field Elevating them to near infinite mass. This creates a gravitational singularity that draws nearby enemies and objects inward for a short time. The rapidly increasing gravity near the singularity's event horizon rips the objects apart. The mass effect field soon dissipates and returns to normal mass with explosive results. That sounds interesting. Well, that's where we're headed. Is it just me or are you getting better looking? I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure thing. You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Ah, let's, uh, let's see. So where is this? Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Fair enough. Um, so why are you going after this guy? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. 
He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. I guess he knows his terrain. It's going to be tough to get to him. Like chasing a vorch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Ah, uh, the Zap Brannigan approach. Uh, plan of attack. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. Distraction? So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Okay. Well, sounds like a suicide mission. Perfect. Alright. So what's the plan? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Tarek? Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Alright, well, let's go. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? Yep. This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Uh-huh. If you're sure, registration's in here. Good luck. You'll need it. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Well, transport hub outside the club. Come on, let me in. Gavorn. I've heard that name. So I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Hmm. I did you a favor. I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that I can handle. Alright, well what do you do here? What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. So what are they up to? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Alright. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. You've let ten people in while I've been... We got work to do. All right, there's our Blue Sun's driver. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Yep, we're ready. Ready when you are. Get in. And we're gonna stick with uh, Morden and Zaid. Yep, 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 yep. No changes. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. You bet. I'm ready to go. Is he with you? No. I'm on my own. I don't need any help. Just tell me where to go. Right. Just head through there. I'm sure you'll find your way. I'm on. Uh 
tell you what we're up against? I know enough. Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. Well, now that we're here... I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. Alright. Um, do we know who this guy is? What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. Alright, so what's this infiltration team? Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. They gotta cross the bridge? How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down. But they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. Alright. And this bridge. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout. Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. Gunship? They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. This sounds like the kind of guy we need. Alright. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. One thing at a time. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Alright, so... Let's go figure out where we're supposed to go here. I've scanned the area, but I'm unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Uh. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Alright. Do you need something? Uh, who are you? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? So, what's your plan of attack? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. All right. Let's ask you about the Eclipse. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. You seem pretty upset. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Fair enough. Do you know who he is? What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. 
Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get All right. Back. Good idea. Well, seems nobody really knows anything. All right, what's this? Tarek. I've spoken to Garm. This is from Jareth. And he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists. They won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations will be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. Ah, so they're planning to try to take down Arya. Well, I wonder what she would have to say about that. Hmm. Ah, well, there's their mechs. Hmm. Ezo smuggling accounts. Okay, what's this? Uh, where's the next piece I need? There you are. Alright, bypass friend or foe ID. Oh, that sounds fun. Alright, we reconfigured the targeting parameters. That should slow him down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. Sounds good. Alright, on to the next area here. Hmm, there's Garm. And a bunch of Vorcha. You're in the wrong place. Freelancer. Uh, who are you? You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Okay, well let's ask about the blood pack. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. Apparently Archangel just hates you. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. So, what do you know about him? What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Well, there's a piece of information we hadn't had before. He's Turian. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Alright. And I guess we'll ask about the plans. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan. And they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Okay. I should get going. About time. So, once the Eclipse send the mechs, then we'll have the Blood Pact to worry about. Okay. Ah, protection money accounts. Hmm. That sounds valuable.
All right, there we go. Six thousand credits. Ooh, what's this? Don't mind me while I hack this door. Alright, what have we here? Blue Sun's weapon shipment. This looks interesting. Some machine gun damage. Very nice. Blue Sun's gun running accounts. Good. And some power cells. Excellent. Oh, and some uh, metagel. What's through here? Ah, oh, there's Tarek. Okay. Let's have a chat. I don't want excuses. Don't have to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. And somebody get me those damn blueprints. No! Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. What's your problem? You. Get, get this scum out of my face. Well. Tarek, what's seen in your ass? Zaid. Ah, this should be good. You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. What? Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? Ah, well, let's ask questions. So let's ask about the Blue Suns. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Good. Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. Alright, well let's uh, see what they know about Archangel. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Well, that sounds personal. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. All right. Well, let's ask about the plan of attack. What's Tarek going to do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. So he just waits? What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. All right. Well, maybe he'll uh, get some reinforcements here soon. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Oh, we'll check in with Kafka, all right. Hmm. I think what we'll do is actually go ahead and end the episode here. Because I think once we talk to Kathka, things start to move, and um, I'm not sure I have enough time to get through all of it. So, you know, we'll go ahead and break here because this is a good spot. When we come back next episode, we'll talk to Kathka, and then uh, we'll see if we can't find or get through to Archangel and 
figure out who he is and see what we can do to get him out of here. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.